episode goes. So it's like five or six in the morning right now. I'm gonna go hit legs and record it all. So you already know. So, it's like five or ten past six right now. I'm about to whip it up in the gym. I got the cereal bowl. You finna eat in the car while it warms up, bro. Loki, last cheek to be right, but. Nah, uh, will there be cars pulling up this early? as hell bro I'm making a horror film anyway ball of cereal almost done I feel like I'm gonna throw up yeah <clears throat> in one of my splits I am trying to do powerlifting like yeah so I low-key mix it up with stuff I ain't even done before so we're gonna see the difference and any better results, stuff like that. But yeah, we got the bodybuilding and the powerlifting split. Bodybuilding consists of legs Monday and a Thursday, back on a Tuesday. By the way, I'm hitting arms on a leg day. Basically, any day, so I'll probably hit arms like two or three in a row and then I have a break and hit arms again because. Cover quite quickly, you know, the biceps, quite small muscles, so you know, ain't gonna be all rocket science trying to do that. So, I'm gonna do that. Then, um, yeah, Wednesday is, I think, a, a chest day. So, we gotta be three days even in the split to be hitting any of it anyway. Which is <laughs> three days into the split, and we finally hit in chest. You know what I'm saying? That type of beat. So, yeah, so it's a bit of a madness. Um, what else? Wednesday and a Friday is chest. And then on my powerlifting split, I got Monday. I'm trying to change my Monday to like our chest and stuff to like mainly just legs because the real ones hit legs on the Monday bro that's all I'm saying Monday morning it's like what 25 past 6 at tops so yeah we're gonna pull up oh wait no yeah powerlifting split right so bench on a no, squat and deadlift on a Monday now I used to my old powerlifting split when I was like peak strength I would do two compounds like in the same session if it was like lower. So squat and be uh, deadlift I would do in the same session, but I would differentiate which one is like going heavy and which one's not, right? So on Monday I have squat and bench, mainly squat prioritized, meaning I will lift heavier in the squat and then I will lift a lot lighter in the deadlift because I it's no point in me trying to actually make gain on my squat and my deadlift in the same session because you know unless you're on some sort of yeah, steroids then you know it's very hard i was kind of just gonna like trying to get to, like grips of it again which my strength is like still primarily there so it's not like i'm like struggling horribly horribly even so, you know, I have, I do have hopes for that, so, yeah, legs, bit of squats to warm up, <laughs> but even before that, I'm a low-key, so box jumps, right, so I, I kind of, like, did some research, and box jumps are actually meant to be really good, um, before a deadlift or a squat, because they, like, send, uh, like, stuff through your nervous system, to like react like basically be more explosive 
So I'm gonna see how that goes. I won't lie. Um, yeah, that's basically it. You know, there comes a day, man. Everyone's gonna have this day. There comes a day where being average, being mediocre, is just sickening to you. It's just sickening. It makes you want to throw up because you've seen people with far less talent than you as you're growing up with them their childhood buddies or whatever else they didn't have what you had yet now they're fucking to become something that you haven't there comes that day it's either when you're young you know and, and it strikes you on the baseball field because you're sick of striking out or it's it's when you get fired from your fifth job you know when your wife and kids are on your ass because you don't know how to support them anymore there comes a fucking day where push comes to shove but being mediocre, being like average and shit just fucking burns and sucks so much. You can't deal with it one more day and you get off your fucking ass and you create something that's always been there. It's always been inside of you trying to come out. But you've never wanted to unwrap it because it's too much fucking pain and commitment. You were scared you were going to fail. You were scared if you started you never finish it. You didn't want to tell anyone about it. You knew it was there, but you never wanted to embark on it. Until something fucking hits. You get fired or somebody else gets success. Remind you what you could have been. And then that fucking spark is born. And no matter what happens, I'm never going to be in this boat again. And you just keep going, keep going, you're wild, man. And life has never been so sweet. That can happen. <laughs> so, so far I've done leg extensions, squats, um, leg press, I just did hamstring curl, well, I just did RDLs, so I think now I'm going to hit hamstring kills and then that's leg day done.